In this video, we're going to talk about shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. Hi, this is Alex from Massive, the fastest way to deliver all your large media files online. So whether you need to send raw footage, audio, animations, project files, whatever you need to send super fast and super securely, try Massive and we'll give you 100 gigabytes free. I'll leave you the link in the description box below so you can check it out. Okay, so shortcuts. By shortcut, I mean anything that helps to cut down the time it takes to perform a task. It can be a keyboard command or something that you select on the panel. You probably already know the most common ones like copy and paste, audio gain, save project, clip speed and duration. No, 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 we're not going to see those common ones. We're going to see some hidden ones that I actually use daily to finish my videos 10 times faster and to actually just make my life easier because life is already complicated enough. Let's go and check them out. Enable, disable. This is a really great one when you're trying to decide between multiple video or audio clips in a specific part of your edit. I have these clips, so I'm just going to select it and press Shift Command E for Mac or Shift E for Windows to enable and disable the top videos or audio clips you don't want to play. Ripple Edit Tool and Ripple Delete Tool. I use this a lot when I'm fine cutting and polishing my edits, so I don't have any black spaces left when I'm doing those little adjustments. <laughs> Press V and you will be able to trim down your footage without leaving empty spaces. Everything on the left or the right will snap next to your clip. Ripple Delete is also very important and very useful and its shortcut is Option Delete for Mac or Control Delete in Windows. You can select the clip or your in and out points, then Ripple Delete that area to snap the rest of the edit together. Slip Tool. This one is great when you need to keep the same length of a clip but have to show another part of the video. Press Y and slide across your clip. You will see the beginning and end of your cut clip in the program window. Add transition. I can easily add a default transition between clips just by pressing Shift D for either Mac or Windows. You can select your default transition for video and audio by right clicking on the transition from the effects panel. Synchronize. You can synchronize your external audio with your main camera audio by simply selecting them both in the timeline, right clicking on them, then selecting Synchronize. Click OK in the new window and the AI will do its thing. If you're working in a narrative film or a documentary where you need to sync up multiple audios from multiple scenes, multiple takes, multiple shots, you might as well just assign this shortcut to a key in your keyboard. Go to Premiere Pro icon at the top left corner, then select Keyboard Shortcuts. Or you can press Command Option K for Mac, Control Alt K for Windows. Here, you can see which actions is assigned to which key. Press Shift, Command, Option, Control, or Alt keys to see what other actions are linked. In this search box, look for the tool Synchronize. It doesn't have a shortcut yet, you can see it here, there's nothing assigned. I will press Option and then drag it to the letter S. And there you go. Group, ungroup. After syncing your video with your external audio, you should link them or group them together, so if you're moving them around, they don't get unsynced. To group them together, you just have to press Command G or Control G, again for Mac or Windows, you know which one's which. Press Shift Command G to ungroup them or Shift Control G. To link them together, Command L or Control L. Close gap. This one helps a lot if you have a bunch of clips just spread out across your timeline and you want to organize them next to each other. Select all of the wild clips around the timeline, either with the mouse, with in and out points, or by pressing Command or Control A, that it is the shortcut to select all. Then we'll go to Sequence and then Close Gap. Paste and remove attributes. If you want to copy and paste the effects from a clip to another, select first the clip and press Command C or Control C, then select the other clips and press Option Command V or Control Alt V. In this new window, you can select which video or audio effect you want to paste to the other clips. You can also remove effects in the same way, but you will have to select the clips you want to modify. Right click and go to Remove Attributes. Of course, you can always assign it to a key in your keyboard for an easier shortcut. Audio Remix Your music doesn't quite fit the length of your cut. We have all been there. Go to Window, Workspaces, Audio. Select your audio clip. Then in the window at the right, select Music. 
check duration and in method you can click on remix choose how long you want it to be and the ai will mix the song to elongate or shorten its timing and fit your desired length oh yeah beautiful if you're interested in more ai to help you speed up some tasks and help you save precious time check out our video ai filmmaking tools i'll leave it to you here on the top right corner of the screen shift option alt I'll give you two for one in this last one. If you keep the shift key pressed and use the up and down arrow keys, the playhead will jump to the beginning of the next clip. You can use the mouse while pressing shift as well to scroll through the timeline and you will see and feel when you are at each cut. For option in Mac or alt in Windows, press it when you want to select an individual video or audio clip that is linked or grouped. You will be able to edit it with no problem. Blah. And those are some of the most essentials Adobe Premiere shortcuts that you should use to speed up your editing workflow. It's just a matter of memorizing them and boom, 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 you'll be done in one minute with your video. And when you finish your video super quickly with these shortcuts, give Massive a try to send your project or raw media files or any large files that you have in your hard drive. Click on the description box below to get those 100 gigabytes free and start with Massive today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please help us with that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel so we can hang out again and talk more about shortcuts, AI, filmmaking tips, your life, my life, whatever you want. I'll leave you now with this video over here for you to enjoy and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Shortcuts!